Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.com. So we're a couple of weeks just over into 2020, so just gone the middle of January. And this is the time where I see people who started off with the best of intentions and looking really enthusiastic uh, start to quit. Um, so I, I generally offer uh, incentives at the start of the year, as do most uh, businesses, for example, gyms and um uh, all, all sorts of other companies to get people going and encourage them to get started and then um, behind the scenes we can see the figures of people uh, giving up so this is for you if you're about to give up or just gave up looking to get IT certified I'm going to give you an idea that's going to fix that for you and um, I know it works because it's worked for a lot of my members and it's worked for myself also so this is just a chart I came up with. It's um, the drop-off rate week one, two, three, and four. Normally by week four, around 50% of those who started have quit. And it's a shame because um, IT is probably one of those careers that is going to potentially last you many, many years. The certifications are going to keep you fresh, uh, well-paid, protect you from um, redundancy, and um you know something i really believe in which is why i teach it so my suggestion to you is forget anything hard and go for something super easy and uh, easy to pass it qualifications are out there now these slides are actually a duplicate of um, something i did before with just a few changes but i think this time of year it's more pertinent than ever so go for something that's cheap to pass uh, something that preferably you don't need to buy study guides for. You can just uh, use software, um, preferably just a few hours work. The software would be free or free trials. So it needs to tick that box also. And most of all, you're looking to get an easy win. Now, the easy wins will give you self-belief uh, that you can do it. You'll feel motivated. You'll feel good about yourself and also gain a valuable certification. Now, I'm going to go through these slides super quick because, as I said, I actually um, covered this before when I was promoting this particular certification. It's just, uh, as I said, I've made some changes and I think it's relevant to this time of year. So, the Microsoft uh, Technology Associate, the MTA, is probably the best exam to take if either you're a beginner or you're just looking to get an easy win. They cover loads of different topics. You can see some of the uh, pictures down here. There's databases, security, operating system, which is Windows 10, server, which is uh, Windows uh, 2016 server, and some coding. But I think there's about um, eight in total. So the MTA is a foundation level. So from complete beginner, knowing nothing to a reasonably uh, good grasp. Obviously, you probably you won't be consulting after passing the certification, but then again, it's only a, a few hours work involved. So for beginners, grow one great thing is you'll be Microsoft certified. Add that to your resume and also the logo. For example, on the right here, you can see the database fundamentals logo that you can add to business cards and uh, your resumes. You'll put this on your resume and get picked up by the search engines. Cost effective, depending on the exam, it's around $127, so it's really cheap. And bearing in mind, you didn't have to buy any books or um, uh, any software. <clears throat> Excuse me. You don't need to renew. Most exams, you have to renew every three years. You don't need to renew this. Study tools, download free evaluation software or uh, get a free trial on um, Amazon S3 or uh, Windows uh, Azure. And there's different software that you can import into there. You can also run it in a virtual machine from home. Uh, study in a few days. So uh, the courses, some of my courses, depending on how easy, are just a few hours, starting off with around three hours of training. I don't think there's anything else as short of, as that you can study and get certified. So look to put in around 10 hours. Again, could be more, could be a bit less, but this could all be done um, if you just had a couple of days off work, or you could just do like an hour or two every evening. 
So try out the uh, features of the software, start a foundation for your certification. You could go on to MCSA, MCSE, etc. Uh, so you can uh, if I've seen people sign up for MCSE courses, which cost maybe ten thousand dollars, realize they don't enjoy it or they've just had enough. So you don't have to do that. You can get a good taste just for a few hours worth of work. I have mentioned the job searches, so I'll go through this quickly. Good for a foot in the door. Um, you can say you know about databases if you pass the database, you know some coding if you learn the basic coding and so on. Get you into the help desk, junior uh, network admin, junior database, junior cloud. Easy win. This is what the whole presentation is about really. You could be super busy with family, work, children, commuting, other challenges on your life. So it uh, gives you the motivation into the habit of studying. If you want a quick win, as I said, give you a real good shot in the arm. The other great thing is they never expire. You, most people, uh, most certifications are run out every three years. And you have to pay, obviously, to retake it. So these will last you a lifetime. The other good thing is if you do like it, you've actually already done the work towards another certification. For example, the MTA Security is almost all of the CompTIA Security Plus. The Windows OS is covered in A+, Server OS covered in Network+, and obviously MCSA, MCSE. Loads of crossover. So the MTA hits three sweet spots that I really like. Easy, uh, cheap to take, easy to pass, cheap to take, and they're valuable to your career. So um, have a look on the Microsoft website for the MTA certifications and choose one you fancy. We've actually got four or five on howtonetwork.com and you can get started for a dollar, which I'll show you on the next page. This particular page is for the database uh, fundamentals. This is a bit of a meteor course, so if you're a beginner, maybe not this one. If you want to learn about databases, then check it out, sure. All right, so um, operating system fundamentals we've got for Windows 10, just been updated. Server administration for Windows 2016, I think it is. Security fundamentals, a really uh, important certification to have. Uh, we've also um, got some others you can have a look. So uh, $1, 30 days access, which is more than enough time to pass, actually. Go to the website, but then use this special URL, howtonetwork.com forward slash YouTube. That gets you $1 uh, join for full 30 days. Then it reverts to $20 if you want to hang around. We've actually got loads of IT courses, too many to mention here. Practice exams, live Cisco racks, expert support on the forum, career training, exam strategy support. All right, so that's all. I hope it helps. I really encourage you just to get one knocked out and um, it will make a big difference uh, I guarantee it I'll see you on the next video